Undoubtedly, the greatest aspect of art is the power of the individual and the power of one person to become dominant in the world, to express his or her ideas about life or about whatever they want to express, and to become world famous in doing that. The gentleman with me this evening, Christo, uh, I, I think you have done that. You have, uh, perhaps many people don't know what you have become famous for. Uh, one thing comes to mind is the how, the, the fence that the ran, running fence in California that went how yeah. many miles? Twenty-four and a half miles, eighteen feet high, and Marina Sonoma County in 1976. But you have wrapped islands, and you have no, no, no. Done I wrapped coast in Australia in 1969, the coast. Yeah. and uh, Valley Curtain. It was giant orange curtain and the Rocky Mountains, and the span of Brooklyn Bridge, you know, about 180 feet high, it was one single piece of material, about 250,000 square feet of fabric. But you, you typified to me what I was saying in the introduction, the power of one person to do something that they think is worthwhile against overwhelming odds. I remember when I first heard of your running fence theory, I thought it was the most ridiculous project I had ever heard of, a complete waste of money, and, and I thought, what kind of a person would devote years of his life to do such a thing? You did it anyway, in spite of what I thought. <laughs> And uh, now that you have done it, and we're going to show people film of it, I think it's wonderful. And I think what the kinds of things you're doing ha has, a, has a tremendously important place in our life. And, and I want to congratulate you for persevering. Uh, you know, I think the, any artist do that. You know, that each artist, uh, from the very small scale drawings to the large sculptures, they always try to do the things they feel, they urge, if it's the right with urgency, to express. And I, I, I enjoy it, a huge amount of uh, uh, pleasure is the work with enormous physicality. You know? Like, they are very beautiful. All the work um, I do, I try to, before everything, to say that the effort will not go for some uh, non-visual impact. I believe strongly that all the proposals have some, if you're not common sense beautiful, but they have the visual impact. Right. They are related to some perception of physicality of light, color, form, moving. Let's, let's show people now, and, and forgive us, uh, the film's a bit scratchy, uh, um, but perhaps Christo's most famous work to date, it's this running fence, I'll yes, let him it, describe it. Yeah, it's the best fence built uh, uh, from fabric, uh, 18 feet high, running over 24 and a half miles in the Sonora Marine County. In West California. In California. Western extremity was in Pacific Ocean, the most inland situation when in Sonoma County near Freeway 101, crossing the land of 59 landowners, crossing 14 public road highway, mm -hmm. state highway, and of course uh, running through the very beautiful hills in Sonoma Marine County. The project was seen, you need to almost uh, about two hours to see the project, traveling through the different roads, in by helicopter, take near four and a half years to prepare that project. Only for permits, we were fighting for two and a half years. And the final installation of the project take only two and a half days with near 600 young people installing that fabric fence who was moving with the wind. And it was how tall? 18 feet high. 18 feet high. high. It disappearing in the Pacific Ocean. It was project very gentle. He has did uh, in Bodega Bay just uh, uh, and the Bodega Bay coming about 1,000 feet in the Pacific Ocean. It was a uh, very um, poetical project, in uh, some way uh, related to the scale of man, was crossing the houses, behind the houses of the ranches, and was very uh, uh, visible from miles and miles, uh, involving probably the, so many people was make the project so highly rooted in the life of the uh, community. Now, that fence stood for how long? For two weeks. This whole project is temporary, you know. And I hope you understand that the, the physical object is the end of the work. Right. The, really, the work starts from the very beginning when we start to negotiate the work with the governmental agency, with the private owners, with the different groups of the community. Mm -hmm. That is already what the work of art, because each work has his own pace of build up inner sea and created uh, forces. Now, you want to do something for Miami. Uh, we're, we're going to show you a picture now of what, what Christo is proposing for Miami. Tell us exactly uh, what that's going to be. And again, that project for Miami is project was uh, related to my idea of Miami, probably idea how I arrived here for the first time in 1975. 
and I was fascinated by that horizon horizontality of the of the city of the bay and the great uh, very exciting way of living the people between the water and the land I was fascinated by Biscayne Bay and the peace the bay give to the people by crossing over the causeway mm -hmm. you know on the causeway you are not a nerve like in the freeway the water around you will give us some kind of different uh, balance of, mm -hmm. uh, ex of vision and my focal interest was come to the uh, working with the Biscayne Bay creating project for Biscayne Bay and the title of the project is surrounded islands I like to work with probably eight ten islands uh, between the Venetian Causeway the uh, Julia Tuttle Causeway 79th Street Causeway a broad Causeway the many spoil area, who actually the man-made island from the uh, dredging of the waterway, and this island have vegetation. We like to create it uh, probably like a giant water lily. This uh, island will be surrounded with floating fabric, pink, very silky fabric, who will be attached and the boom about 200, 250 feet from the islands, and will be became like a, almost like a flower, like blooming flower. That fabric will go inland over the sandy beach and will be uh, anchored just on the foot of the tree. And of course, we created, I hope very much, very different visual uh, um, experience from my previous project. I think the visibility of that project will be extremely active. You can see the project from the causeway, from the high rising building, or even around the building in Miami Town and Miami Beach. You can see the project through the waterway. Mm -hmm. It can go very cross. For example, <coughs> on the sandy beach, when we recover with the, this very gorgeously pink fabric, you can lay on this, and that fabric will be like a giant uh, cloth um, towel over the beach. Now, you told me you spend a lot of your own money doing these things. Yeah, it's all my money. There are no other money except my own money. Really? The entire project will finance, for example, the project in Miami, we run between $800,000, million dollars. We come from the sale of my original drawings. I will produce, if in the next few weeks or month or two months, uh, the city of Miami give good indication that there's a possible chance to obtain the permits for that project, I will need to produce around 100, 150 original works about that project. My wife, who is my manager and dealer, she will sell this work to museum, collect the dealers around the world, and with that money, we start to buy material, hire engineer, and pay the services. And of course, you should understand that the project, how minimal will be that money, million dollars, not too much, but probably 80% of that money was paid directly on the payroll and the people in Miami. We're going to watch your progress now and see what Thank happens. You. And we will see, we have a lot of need of people understanding the work. You know, we yeah. have a lot of meetings in the next few weeks, and we hope very much the date count in Miami week. Well, we'll see Let's how see. it all turns out. Crystal, thanks Th very much. Thank you. We'll be right back.